ask kids uh, who their favorite player at the All-Star game was, if they could ask them a question, what they would ask them, would you like to answer a kid's question? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> he asked, how did I get traded? So it's simple. Um, the team called Cleveland. Cleveland said, we want to trade this guy. And then um, that's how it worked out. So <laughs> you have any advice for this young jazz fan? Um, yeah. Um, I think, you know, the biggest thing is he wants to pursue sports or anything in life. Continue to be positive. Continue to put your best foot forward. And, you know, don't let anybody put limits on what you can do. Um, at the end of the day, you're, you're young, you got time, and, you know, you got a whole life ahead of you. Yeah. Yeah, here. It was in here. It was in here against. What that was like everything all these years later? Um. You know, I, I can't say I did. You know, I think it was against the Spurs, my first game. Um, I remember being in the locker room here. Um, man, it feels like a lifetime ago, but it's it's one of those things that, you know, I've had a lot of full circle moments for me this year, and this is just one of them. You know, this is where I started my NBA journey. Um, and to be back in this building for practice, you know, I think is something that's truly special. Um, and like I said, I'm always I'm forever thankful, and, you know, God is good. Uh, yes. Um, I talked to Trey Murphy, and he said that, you know, he got some tricks up his sleeve. So I'm going to make sure I, I, I got I got Trey on this one. So don't don't let me down now. Uh, uh. Oh, um, I'll pick Drake because Drake, you know, you got to, you know, Drake gives you a vibe for everything, everything, however you're feeling. He has a bar. He has a lyric. He has a song for every vibe. So. If I had to choose those three, I would pick Drake, you know, every day. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think we have the team that's built for it. I think for us, just continuing to take it day by day, um, not looking at the end goal right now, focusing on the process. You know, obviously, we all, everybody in this room will tell you we want to play for a championship. That's why we're here. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we got to take the we got to take the steps. We have some guys that obviously haven't been uh, to the playoffs, and you know, understanding that certain games this season feel like playoff games and learning and getting better. And I think we're taking those proper steps, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. We going to uh, McDonald's uh, down the street. I got you. Nah, 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 nah. nah. We'll go. Uh, I got you uh, over the summer. We'll go somewhere nice. I got you. Congratulations, brother. Who would I add from the W? I mean, you take the Aces roster. I pretty, pretty much take Las Vegas. Nah, Asia Wilson for sure. Chelsea Gray. Um, I might be dead serious about the Aces, Ross. I'm, I, I'm honestly putting the Aces uniform. Would you put me out there? I think we'll be. In, I think I'll be in good shape. Yeah. Um, you know, that'd be that'd be great for him. <laughs> um, I mean, for for I think he's he's definitely entered that part of his career where he's starting to think after that. And I think it'd be cool cool for the league to have a team in Vegas. It's hot. It's hot though, but it'd be the cooler months of the year, so I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too opposed to it. And if LeBron happens to be on, I think it'd be pretty good. I think it's great to have guys, you know, who have done so much in our in our league and obviously the all time leading scorer in our league to be an owner of a team of any team, I think that'd be pretty special. The biggest change as a player, I think, honestly, my defensive uh, play has been, you know, I think the biggest thing. Um, not that I couldn't do it. I think just being paying more attention to it, having a mindset on it, um, and, you know, locking in at a, at a higher level. You know, I think, you know, I've always had the, I've always had the ability. Now it's more it's like paying attention and getting in better shape. That way I can do uh, things on both ends of the floor. Um, I'm honestly not shocked. You know, I think I've seen – I've known Laurie since high school. Um, Laurie's been this type of player. I think he's just gotten an opportunity um, to do it on a one, a national stage where everybody's playing, get consistent playing time and have a consistent role. Um, he's a hell of a player, man. He can, you know, I think this game, what do you have, like 46 on five dribbles or something like that? Like, you know, to be able to do that, that's impressive. Um, to be able to do, lead this team in a lot of uncertainty for both for both ends, you know, what, what was to come um, for him to thrive in this role, I think is something that's truly, you know, 
truly special to see, and I'm happy for him. Um, he's having a lot of success, and you know, all star starter. So it's been it's been great to see. Uh, I'd probably say Carl, uh, just from his his scoring standpoint, his his ability to get a bucket. And what is he top four in all time scoring? Is it so? Like you know, he's it's a lot of points um, that he put up there, and he's done a lot for obviously this franchise, this state. So um, I would definitely say if I had to choose, I, I'd be the one passing to to Carl. My earliest memory. I could be wrong, but I probably want to say something from from Dipset, <laughs> um, Cam for sure, Jada Kiss, Fab, um, obviously Jay Z. Jay Z is probably first and foremost, but um, I would say probably those guys for sure. Um, that'd be that would be nice, you know. I mean, obviously I'm gonna come in there and, and I'm not, I'm not gonna try and shoot every shot, but close to every shot. Um, you know, and just like I said, just just have fun. You know, I think that's the biggest thing is kind of going into these these spaces and and really appreciating, you know, the moment of where I'm at. Um, it'd be great to win MVP. Like I said, it'd be a lot, I've had a lot of full circle moments this year, uh, and that'd be another one. You know, and at the end of the day, I think for myself, just continuing to find ways to appreciate everything, um, and you know, that'd be that'd be a great moment. Man, it's great. You know, Ricky and I have been phenomenal. You know, they were a big instrumental part of my career, uh, helping me get to be uh, the player I am today. Um, and to be back here, you know, all these years later, you know, in a similar situation, trying to get to a championship, trying to get to the playoffs, trying to continue to build, um, it's phenomenal. You know, those guys are the best, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to be with that, those group of guys. And, and Raul's actually here. He, he came to my comedy show, so it was good to see him and, and, and his wife and you know, to be around. But it's, it's great to have the guys you know when you're going into a situation where you didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Um, that's a tough one. I mean, it's an ongoing dialogue right now. I think it's a lot of stuff that comes with that. You know, I don't, I'm not going to say too much about it. I think for me, you know, I came into this league at an 82 game season. If they shortens it, it shortens it. I think at the end of the day, um, I haven't, I've understood the the necessity of kind of taking care of your body. You know, obviously, you know, you want to be able to put on a show and put on and perform for everybody that comes to every arena and see, and see you play. But at the end of the day, um, you know, the guys that make this league, you know, as, as players, we, we understand that if we're not out there because we're not healthy, you know, we, we can't provide that excitement and that exposure. So it's, it's, it's a tough conversation to have, and, you know, we're continuously having it as a league, and it'll be interesting. But for me, um, right now it's an 82 game season. I'm preparing for it and trying to be the best, and then we get to the playoffs to be even better. So that's my goal. What Utah spot did you go to when you first got back to town? Was it a restaurant? Or a- um, I actually went back, back to um, – to my old crib uh, um just really chilled i've been kind of out the way and kind of just just chilling but um i had a comedy show uh Walters for sure he made and made Walter rest in peace he passed away um not sure how too long ago but Walters is definitely a spot that um i'm from, i love i go there all the time those people show me a lot of love and i appreciate it they they're they're incredible okay. so Uh, for sure. I'd pick me too. Um, I would have no composure. I'd probably be freaking out. Um, I'd probably just call it quits, to be honest. I'd be like, look, at this point, we're already gone, so we might as well just figure. But I'm not, I'm not the, the person for that. Have you talked to Mike Conley since the uh, Yeah, I have. Um, and we didn't really speak too much just about it. Just like, you know, obviously he's going back to reunite with Rudy, and, you know, he's going to play with a phenomenal player in Anthony Edwards. And, you know, I think for him, um, you know, there's uncertainty there. Like, what happens after this season? And there's a lot of uncertainty with every with everybody. So, um, you know, I'm just great to see him out there playing. You know, just continue to play the game he loves. It's definitely tough. Um, and this is not him saying. This is me saying. This is definitely tough. You know, I know Mike's have deep roots here. His kids, his wife. You know, um, just being able to be away from them mid season. I think that's definitely tough. He's only been on two teams in his entire career. So for this to happen like this, it's it's definitely tough. But you know, he's a vet. He's a pro. He'll he'll continuously play at a high level. And you know, it's always great to you know um, see him thriving. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's 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 allowed me to have a different process, you know, allowed me to kind of sit in my and kind of be where my feet are, you know, understanding that, you know, I always knew I could be this player. Um, and now that I'm starting to, quite frankly, play like it, um, you know, just having that level of confidence every night, every game coming into, you know, not overreacting to wins, not overreacting to losses, not overreacting to good performances, bad performances, um, what's being said about me, what's not being said, all that kind of just being being content and being you know i would say content because that's complacency but like kind of being at peace where you are and just finding ways to get better um and like i said i'm going to continue to get better every year by year but you know it's crazy you know kind of sitting in reflection a lot this year it's like man like you know i'm appreciative of you know the necessary steps i took to get to this point and uh, i'm looking to get better continuously jay-z drake Probably Beyonce. Say again. Man, um, I was just talking about the full circle moments. I was in college in my dorm watching when he got the stop on Steph Curry in, in game six um, when he had 34 and a quarter. Um, when <laughs> Kelly Olenek dislocated his shoulder. <laughs> um, when he had to pass the Braun. You know, so for me, like I was, I came into this like, man, I'm a fan. Like, you know what I mean? And for him, he's been nothing but he's beat my expectations. He's allowed me to ask a ton of questions about my entire childhood for real. Like, not childhood, but like early years when I watched him play to be able to be out there and just ask him, man, what did you feel during this? Well, what happened here? Well, why did you guys lose this game? Well, why did y'all win this? What did you do during these breaks? How did you take care of your body? Like, he's been phenomenal in that way. Um, you know, I'm forever grateful for, for, for that because – Guys aren't always like that, you know what I mean? So that's definitely something that I really appreciate. And as far as a teammate, as a player, you know, he's one of the best. He's, a, he's definitely a pro, um, you know, te teaching me little nuances that he sees throughout the game, the way him and Darius Garland have bonded. You know, I've only been there a short period of time, but just to see those two um, interact um, and DG really link on to him and kind of find ways to grow and kind of he's being his vet. Um, he's been a great locker room guy. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't have all the, the details, but obviously but with what's been reported, I wish him nothing but the best. He's been phenomenal. Um, he's been phenomenal to me, but also to the, to the city of Cleveland. Um, everywhere we go, there's a Kevin Love jersey. Everywhere, every, every city, it doesn't matter where we are, it's Kevin Love, Kevin Love, Kevin Love. And that just shows you the, amount, the impact he's had on this, this, this league and also this organization. Don, what city needs an MBA team that doesn't have Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I don't know the Louisville. You could pick the name. I don't know about that, but definitely give Louisville, Kentucky one for sure. And what's your all-time dunk contest? If you wanted? Michael Jordan, Zach Levine, um, John Morant, Vince Carter. Yeah. No. Oh, so I, I did know that, actually. I did know because uh, Rafa, our uh, radio guy, he calls me that all the time, and I didn't know if that was Portuguese. I didn't know if that was Spanish. I didn't know which one it was, but yeah. How do I say that? So, ah. Uh, so, Aranya. There we go. Uh, well, first of all, I didn't know we had a lot of as many Cavs fans in Brazil as we do, you know, until I see on Twitter. So, first of all, we really appreciate the love. I appreciate it. It's been phenomenal. We got Raul Zinho with us. Uh, obviously, Anderson Varejo. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely um, appreciated. We appreciate the love, and we'll continue to put on a show for you guys. So thank you. Um. So we played OKC in Game Six here. Um, I had scored like ten straight to start the third quarter. Uh, Jay Crowder misses a free throw. No, Fave misses the free throw. Jay Crowder gets the rebound, passes it to, I forgot who's on the wing, and I come sprinting in from the other side of the court and coming to hit the three, and OKC has to call timeout. Um, that's something that really resonates with me because that's when one of those moments you look back and you realize, like, you're in the, the zone. And it was, like, my first playoff series, my first really potential closeout game, um, and I performed the way I did. I was, and I was pretty shocked at that time, and then for me to have that, that was pretty special. <laughs> Say again? 
Really? I, I had no idea. I got to ask him about it before I, uh, before I comment on it, but I definitely got to ask him about it, but that's, that's pretty dope. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I mean, I think that's for the fans and for for you guys to kind of come in and talk about. I think at the end of the day, we're like we're 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 here. We're at All Star Weekend. It's it's an honor just to be here. You know, whoever whoever gets picked last, if it's like even when we did it, at, when we were all at home, like you know, if you get picked last, it's whatever. At the end of the day, I worked hard to be an All Star. You're here at All Star Weekend, and it's a blessing. You know, at the end of the day, we're not worried about uh, who gets picked. Last. I think it's for everybody else to kind of speculate. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're real. I, I typically have them on, but I just came from practice. I'm very blind. I tell you that. I know that. I can't see. So I don't. But I don't wear. Uh, I don't wear contacts during the game. I just guess. Yeah, can't even see. I, and I'm. I'm not even lying to you about that. I try. So I tried contacts um, in the preseason, and I shot like 26 percent from the field. So. Um, I don't know what it was. It was this season, though, and I tried contacts, and it was terrible. Um, and then practices were even worse. So after that, I was just like, not really. It's not that bad. I think I'm doing pretty well. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is, first of all, our defensive, pre- defensive effort. And, you know, obviously we have talent to score offensively. But uh, defensively, I think it will be our staple. I think it's something that we will continue to build upon as a group. Um, you know, like I said, you know, we have guys that haven't been to the playoffs, and I don't think that'll matter. I think we have a group of guys that really, you know, continue to put the work in. So when the time comes, we'll be ready to go. And you know, I'm excited to see what we have going forward. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say this year in particular. I think the last few years, it's been a lot of. I would say really after COVID until now, I think it's been a lot of, you know. Well, really, outside of like Golden State has really been the only consistent, you know, outside of you know Cleveland when Brown was was here. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of different things that can happen. You know, there's, there's knock on wood for everybody in here, but there's injuries. There's there's the health is a big factor. There's there's luck. There's seeding. There's who you get picked because you look at the West. You know, you may run into the Lakers first round. <laughs> like you know, what I mean, that's not that's not nothing nothing to sleep about. And then the East is the same thing. You got a lot of talented teams at the six, seven, eight, nine, ten ten spots. So. Um, there's no guarantees. You know, you got to go out there. You got to take everything. You, you got to earn it. You got to work for it. And, you know, you got to be ready when your bell's called. Um, yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, we have a group of guys that, you know, they put the time and the work in throughout the regular season that will equate to success, you know, in the playoffs. And, you know, I think for us, it's not putting too much pressure on that moment. Um, and I think we have a lot of guys that, that are really good at that. You know, Darius Garland, obviously, Evan Mobley, and Isaac Okoro are really the three out of our starting group, our core group, that haven't been. And I think, you know, with the vets that we have, the guys that we have supporting, you know, I think it's a great mixture for sure. Ooh. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Um, <laughs> probably Heaven Sent by Keisha Cole. Yeah, yeah that's my song. Yeah, so shout out to everybody in the, in the Philippines. Um, I went there a few years ago. You you were there. You were there. Um, I, I it's something I really want to go back to at some point and go back and see. Um, you know, I definitely shout out to everybody in the Philippines. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the love, and um, you know, hope I get to represent my country for sure. Sounds familiar, but I don't. I don't really remember. Cut. Uh, I saw you on Cavaliers TV. Said that one of the places you want to visit is Bali. Yeah. Uh, what makes you want to visit Bali? Um, I just looked it up on Google, and it looked like pretty, pretty sweet to go to. Um, I'm just all about traveling to, to different places. I know the travel is a, uh, it's a long flight, uh, but it's definitely something. At some point in my life, I want to definitely uh, make that trip. Hey, can you tell us what's in the NBA script for tomorrow? <laughs> Uh, man, these script jokes are getting out of hand. First and foremost, um, I don't know. I I know I didn't get my script. I don't know. I mean, that's that's the goal. That's why we play this game. So hopefully, we get that done. What up? How you doing? Yeah, 
Yeah, I was trash. Yeah, I didn't get picked first a lot. <laughs> I got picked last a bunch of times. I was a baseball player growing up too. So, um, you know, I I was not really good at basketball until like my sophomore year of college for real. Um, so like I was, I've been like average, you know. So I haven't really been a. Now if it came to baseball, I'd be picked first for sure. Yeah. Say again. It definitely top three as far as rowdiness and loudness and, and craziness. I've been I've played in the playoffs every year. I've only been in the West, obviously. Um, OKC's up there too, but Utah, OKC. Am I tripping? Where else have we played? We played Houston like every time in the playoffs. Am I am I, am I missing anything? Golden State. I've never been to Golden State in the playoffs. Um, can't sleep on the Garden, obviously, in the playoffs, which you know we we saw when they played the Hawks. Um, am I missing anybody? Oh, Cleveland. What am I talking about? Cleveland. Uh, <laughs> I've never been. Actually, I have. I went when they played uh, Golden State in the playoffs, and just the the intro, the city, the vibe. So I would rank Utah top four, top four for sure. It's it's. I can't put it in order, but it's top four. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, you know, it's it's something that you obviously I obviously want to win the award for sure. Um, but I can't lie. I don't know if y'all been watching what Jokic has been doing. It's it's fucking outrageous <laughs> to be honest. Um, you know, um, obviously, I don't know how many people have won it three times in a row, but you know, I, I definitely feel like I'm in that conversation as well. But he's otherworldly right now, and it's and you know he's been doing it at such a level. And I think you know you saw it with Braun a few a few years ago. Um, you know, I think Giannis like you get we get bored with like success. And we want to change it up, but sometimes it just remains the same and I think he's the guy that's definitely up there you look at JT who's having a phenomenal year Luca's having a phenomenal year Giannis Joel I think Joel needs to be highly regarded as well I think he gets highly disrespected you know to be he's a guy that consistently every night puts on for his group um and even in the past year we were the whole Ben situation not knowing who was going to be on the floor and he continuously carried his team I think he deserves a lot of respect in that race as well uh but if I had to choose, you look at what Jokic and Joel are doing as a, as a tandem. I think different, separately. I think those two um, definitely deserve their respect. Oh, what up, man? Yeah. In a high school game. JV high school game. How many minutes is a high school game? I, in thirty-two minutes, I can try to get about seventy. I mean, I probably wouldn't pass. I probably wouldn't pass at all. I probably 70, no assist. Uh, but definitely, especially if it's a JV game for sure. No discredit to anybody in JV. Continue to work. I don't want that to be anything out there. Yeah. Sharpest teammate, sharpest basketball IQ teammate. Yeah. Sharpest teammate IQ wise. Basketball IQ, yeah. Because Robin Lopez is up there for IQ. I'm not, I'm not talking about just basketball too. Um, Ricky Rubio. Ricky Rubio, Mike Conley. Joe Ingles, I would say those three uh, for sure. No, I'm I'm happy to be a part of this. It's my first time being a starter. I'm back where it all started for me, so I'm just blessed to be here. Uh, when I close my eyes and I breathe, it goes back to the – so I make typically make 25 in a row before I leave the gym. So I kind of go back to that last place, wherever that is for me. Um, sometimes it's at the home gym, sometimes it's at the away gym. But just going back to where I've last made 25 in a row and kind of put myself in that in that space. Start bench cut. Uh, start my phone. Um, bench my video game and cut my laptop. Um, Call of Duty, 2K, MLB The Show for sure. Uh, at what, Call of Duty? Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, what was that? What was that? J Cole, oh, J Cole, easily. I've seen, I've, I've played pickup with J Cole, so I've seen it. I've seen him. He's, he's like that. He's like that. No, 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 no,
besides myself, who has the best signature sneaker? Um, I like Bron's new one. Um, I think Jaws is special. Um, and when y'all see JTs, I like JTs too. Um, so I think those three. How important is it to pick the right shoes for Nelson? Uh, it's heavily important. You know, I think for for me, I chose to wear the Gam Gramlin State shoes that we decided that we gave them uh, with Adidas and, and Gramlin State. And you know, for me, it's it's all about showing you know respect you know and showing and paying paying homage to whatever it is whatever it means special to you because this is a special moment you know no matter how many times you do it you you understand that this is something that as a kid you dream about um understanding your shoes were on a global stage um and like i said just being able to pay my respects and and show love to gremlin state show love to the hbcus that wear adidas so that's that's where that's why i chose to do that last question yeah as a baseball player it's tough you know you got griffey you got <laughs> yeah. I'm being realistic. I'm nice. I'm nice. Um, O'Neal Cruz in like ten years when he becomes really good, like he's good now. But I got, I'm nice. Like don't 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 get it don't get it twisted. Now I'm a pitcher, but I mean I could I could play anything except catcher. I can't really catch the ball. I I don't like being back there. Yes. Yeah, my man was just saying that. Laran Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Donovan Mitchell, Aranha Brutal, Spider. There you go. I'm Donovan Mitchell, Aranha Brutal. I'm Donovan Mitchell, Aranha Brutal. No problem, boss. Appreciate it. Just Drip. Shay. Shay for short. Jordan Clarkson. I would say myself, but I just got into this. Um, I haven't been doing this for a while. And if you look at some of my old fits, they trash. Um, that's because I did it. My, that's because I did it myself. So, um, Shay, JC. Ah man, that's tough. Nikhil, Nikhil Alexander Walker's up there too.